deal. It's your boy. We got a uh, after the game review for y'all. Detroit Lions versus the Green Bay Packers. Uh, Lions went ahead and took care of business um, and beat the Packers 31 to 23. Um, look, let's get right to it, man. Uh, Detroit Lions, Packers, Aaron Rodgers, Matthew Stafford. Um, Aaron Rodgers is clearly, clearly frustrated with that roster right now that he has. Uh, yes, he has young receivers, and they're capable of catching. I'm not going to slack that because of him not having uh, Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb has not been the greatest this year anyway. Uh, the Lions secondary, I believe, has uh, a little bit more to do with them shutting them out in the first half. Um, our secondary is highly ranked right now. I believe number two right now. I don't know what it's going to be after today. Um, our problem has been uh, stopping the run and pass pressure. We need we don't we need to pressure the quarterback. We need some sacks. Uh, we was able to get some today, but it was times back there where Aaron Rodgers just had way way too much time uh, to sit back there and make decisions. So uh, if we had a pass rush, that secondary probably would be number one uh, in the NFL. A lot of um, you know, people we get down on our certain players on in our secondary, but they all play well today. They all play well today. Uh, Tease Tabor gave up a, a play, but after that, he pretty much held his own. Uh, the young man did end up getting injured. I did not like to see that. Um, but, you know, once they, you know, got him together, coached him up, he was good. Um, Lawson did his thing today. You know, a lot of people, they, they hate Lawson's guts. Uh, I'm not really favorable of him, uh, but he did his thing today, and you can't knock that. Um uh, you know, Jared Davis played well today. I was happy to see that, man. You know, mentally is, you know, the thing that's keeping Jared Davis the, from becoming the guy that we all know he can be. Uh, mental mistakes. Um, but today he played well. He played really well today. Uh, we was able to, you know, fly around and get some hands on the quarterback. And, you know, that was beautiful to see. Um, as far as the offense go, man, where do I start? The offense today was on fire in the first half. Second half, I feel like Jim Bob Cooter was doing the Jim Bob Cooter. He was starting to, uh, you know, go away from what he was doing and become a little bit more too conservative, screen passing, especially in the fourth quarter. Um, but first half, they were on fire. I feel like if the Lions had a better coordinator, they would be a much better team. Um, but I'll take it. You know, uh, on Johnson played well today. And for the, uh, a lot of people that's nervous about his injury, his injury is not serious. He tweaked his ankle. Uh, he was listed as questionable, so they could have threw him back in, but there was no reason to. Um, they just needed somebody to run the ball to run the clock out. No reason to throw him out there and, you know, even re uh, make it worse or, you know, anything like that. But uh, he's fine. He tweaked, tweaked his ankle. He landed funny uh, when he was running out of bounds on that, that run. So, uh, he played well today. Kenny Galladay, obviously, the star of the game. This guy is absolutely unstoppable. Should have had two touchdowns, but one was negated before, uh, you know, with a, a phantom call on Ragnow. I don't know what that was. He clearly, to me, did not grab that guy's face mask. That was garbage. Um, but he was the star of the, sh of the show today, man. He should have had, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, three touchdowns he should have had. Uh, Marvin Jones should have had a touchdown. But, you know, it's, touch, it's tough to stretch out, man. Once your elbows hit the ground like that, sometimes it jerks enough to where the ball could come out. Uh, but, yeah, he, he burned that guy on that free play, man. Um, I mean, that was fun to see, man. Golden Tate, you know, <laughs> three guys trying to tackle him. You know, one end up face masking. I mean, you know, Golden Tate is Golden Tate. He don't do his thing. Them running the ball with Theo Reddick is what I was talking about with the conservative uh, side of the game with, with Jim Bob Cooter going conservative and making stupid plays uh, in the second half. You're giving Theo Reddick the ball, running out of the backfield. Listen, man, Theo Reddick is not a back that comes out the backfield. Listen, if, you, if it's that bad, then God dog it, put Amir Abdullah in there and let him run it. Uh, but... You know, the boneheaded plays, you know, the, the two back-to-back -back runs when we was down big, and uh, you know, with the, the yardage on, on third, second and third down um, after the penalty. So, I don't know what that was about. That was just, you know, being, putting his tail between his legs and, and being typical Jim Bob Cooter. I'm, I'm aggressive. You know, Mike McCarthy, you see how 
aggressive Mike McCarthy was. That's why I prefer coaches to call offenses. He was aggressive. He was not planning. He was going for it on fourth down today. He was, listen, we going for two-point conversions. You going to stop us. That's my problem with the Lions. You have the talent to be that type of team, but you continue to be conservative. It drives me nuts. I mean, these guys, oh, my God. they Dude, you have the offense. You have the quarterback. Use it. Use it. Use it, man. You have the running back core. Use them properly. Um, offensive line today did good, man. You know, Matthew Stafford did get sacked a few times on his own. Uh, he was holding on the ball or he was panicking, you know, at times when he shouldn't have to. But they did good today, man. Pass coverage continues to be a plus for them. Uh, but today they, they opened up a few holes, man. And uh, especially the receivers was doing some blocking. Uh, so, you know, offense on all facets to me did pretty good. It was just our offensive coordinator that I had a complaint against. Uh, but, yeah, that second half nearly drove me crazy with Jim Bob Cooter, man. I know a lot of people out there was angry. So I did see it just in case y'all was wondering. Um, Crosby with the five missed field goals. That's not going to continue to happen. Um, yeah, it did happen with us, but, you know, I don't give the Packers sympathy for that because you remember when we was out there uh, getting guys off YouTube for a kicker. Did anybody give us any sympathy? No. So guess what? They don't get any. You got Aaron Rodgers, the golden child. I don't care. Score a touchdown. Uh, you won't need field goals. Uh, you were getting stopped, and you were trying to kick long field goals that just weren't, weren't happening. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not giving you no credit. Um, but definitely about to get ready to watch the Eagles and the Vikings. Uh, the Vikings need to go ahead and crumble and let the Eagles run over them um, and pick them apart. I would be really, really happy with that. Um, you know, the Bears are leading the division right now, but, um, you know, we all feel the same, except Bears fans. Uh, we don't know how long that's going to last. Um, you know, the defense is only going to be able to carry you for so far. Trubisky had, did throw some touchdowns last game, so we'll see. You know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking them. Hey, kudos to you dudes. Y'all got, you know, y'all 3-1. and Y'all got the division right now. Hold on to it. That's all That's all on y'all. So, um, you know, with that being said, I, I definitely, um, I'm not overly excited with this game because, like I said, you know, uh, two weeks before, the Packers are not some great team. They're not some great team this year. Yes, it's the Packers. It's a division game. It's always going to be tough. It's never going to be easy. It is Aaron Rodgers. So, yes, you do get credit for that. But, listen, the Packers are not a great team. Um, and it showed again, once again, tonight. Um, they got a lot of young people. They got some some promising young guys, man, but the, the Packers don't have enough. Um, so, of course, we get ready to do, go in our bye week, man. Uh, give us time to heal up. And, uh, you know, one thing I want to say, listen, we all know Detroit Lions organization. We all know what's going on with, with Ziggy Aza. Listen, this is this is this is DeAndre Levy part two. We already know what's going on. You franchise tagged them like idiots. You know, I mean, it is what it is. You know, stop putting these reports out here that his shoulder is and he does not have an injury. We know what this is about, man. So. Uh, he's doing the Le'Veon Bell without doing it the way he's doing it. So, <laughs> you know, we all know what it is, man. Miss us with that, man. But like I was saying, we got some time off for guys to heal up, man. Of course, TJ Lane should be uh, back by the end uh, out of the, you know, concussion protocol. Um, you know, we let Valles go. A lot of people was, you know, mad about that. But we have bigger needs right now. Valles was probably... The, uh, a third option as far as tight ends go. So it is what it is. I don't know if uh, where he is right now. I don't know if the, you know they they're going to try to bring him back at some point, um, or if somebody picked him up already. I don't think he'll be out there floating around too long. So we'll see what happened with that situation. I really haven't looked into it. So um, yeah, we we got time to heal up. The Lions uh, definitely need that now. Uh, we are we're not as badly injured as you know a lot of these teams in the NFL, and I'm I'm really happy about that. Second part of the season comes though, and you know a lot of people, especially you bandwagoners, we don't need you guys. Listen, the Lions are two and three. We beat Green Bay. Don't come back on Twitter 
and stuff trying to be Lions fans again. I got a lot of same tweets and screenshots from dudes on, on Twitter and Facebook and in my comment section of my videos. We don't need you. Go away. Go out there and be a Patriots fan or something. We don't need you, man. Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here. We don't need your phony behind, your panicky behind. The panic today was crazy in the second half. Oh, the Lions let them score one touchdown. Panic was everywhere. It was everywhere, man. And I was just like, wow. You know, everything, every year is different. Uh, the Lions should have had more points up there. Like I said, you know, some phantom calls out there. So, you know, I knew the Lions, I knew the Packers didn't have enough to stop the Lions, man. They just didn't. They didn't have enough. To, to stop the Lions, so, you know, it is what it is, um, but yeah, going to the second half of the season, that's when things get real, um, is the season over, we're about to find out really, really quickly, because we're about to get some heavy hitters in the second half of the schedule, um, and for some reason, the Lions seem to, to play pretty well against the big name teams, uh, these teams are big names that actually have the big talent. So we'll see, man. I don't want to. I still don't want to see the Rams, dude. Uh, we do have to play the Rams. We still have to play the uh, the Bears twice, and we have to play Minnesota twice. So we'll see. Uh, hopefully, uh, Minnesota continues to reel downward. That'll be a beautiful thing, man. We have to go against that Bears defense, which I dread. I really don't want to see Khalil Mack sacking on sacking my quarterback all day, man. So. You know, this week of, week or two off, I mean, this week off we're about to get is, is very important. I need our offensive line to be healthy and 100%, man, um, because, yeah, we're getting ready to face some tough defenses uh, in the second half. So, uh, with that being said, man, that's pretty much all I got for y'all today, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the game, enjoy watching uh, the media not know what to say after that game or, or uh, try to make reasons why... Aaron Rodgers lost besides the fact that he just lost. So uh, that's all I got. Everybody out there, have a blessed day, man. Continue on. Enjoy your day. I'll catch y'all guys on my next video.